What's up guys? Welcome back. We're back at it with more Into the Flames gameplay and today we're going to do all our firefighting exclusively first person. You definitely want to catch this one. Be sure to hit that thumbs up and let's get started. All right, we're back on the Canton County Free Roam. We're at Station 2, and we're going to be doing nothing but first-person responses today. You see we've got our beautiful blue and yellow uh, Canton County Fire Department truck. Just got her back from the uh, paint shop. It looks very nice, even with yellow rims, too. It looks very cool. Haven't had a chance to get this one painted yet, though we did bust out some black spray paint for the uh, wheel rims there. So, I don't know. I was just messing around with it a little bit. I thought it looked pretty sharp. Like It makes it look pretty mean. Like That's a mean-looking tanker, right, with the black rims. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to be doing everything in first person today. At least we're going to try. We'll see how that goes. So, let's go ahead and see if we can uh, get some kind of fire going. All right, we just had tones drop for a fire. Let's see what it looks like here. Go to emergencies. Pull this up. It says structure fire at 50 Eagle Drive, box 315. Uh, we're at station two, but we're going to take that. I think both of them are pretty much about the same distance, uh, station three, station two. So, we're going to take this. Let's go ahead and click it. Say units assigned. Exit out of that, exit out of you. All right, let's go hop in the uh, engine. We'll head that way. All right, here we go. You know, I think this is like the first time ever that we have driven first person in this game. Like, it's kind of interesting. All right, let's see where we're going. All right, yeah, down and then uh, not the first intersection, but the next intersection, then the left, then the right. All right, let's go. Let's hit the siren. Let's go. Oh, this is going to be fun, keyboard and mouse, guys. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> All right, definitely a different perspective. I like it. It's pretty sharp. I see the smoke, so we do have a fire. Indeed, we do have a fire. Yeah, let's slow down here a little bit. And we should make this left here. Oh, she's squirrely. I had a keyboard and mouse. It's not my thing. I'm just not good at it, guys. I'm do alright. Spur does alright. I get by with it, but. I'm digging this view. I can't believe I've never tried this before. Like, this is, uh... We'll take a look inside the uh, engine as soon as we get here. Uh, I think we need to lay in. I think we need to lay in here, yeah. Let's kill that. And let's hop out. All right, let's grab a supply line. I think we'll get one, uh... Yeah, we'll get one off the back. Hook you up. I guess we could have pulled down a little bit further. It's kind of hard to judge when you're uh, then inside. There we go. Okay. Let's get our hydrant wrench. I, I just automatically default to this side. If you guys haven't noticed that, I'll, I just always come to this side. I guess that's the correct side they keep it on. But uh, I just always go to that one. There we go. All right, we got some water going. Let's hop in. Yeah, we got a fire raging there. It's been a while since we've been to this one. We have done this one before. I think we've pretty much done all of them uh, over time, but... All right, let's go. Let's grab a... Uh, well, I don't know. We got to make entry first, I guess. So let's get our air going. Get our air tank. Uh, air pack. Did I pick up a gas meter? No, I didn't. Okay. I think we're good. At least I hope we have it on. Let's test it out and see real fast. There we go. Yes, we do have it. Okay. Let's go make entry. Let's see what it looks like in here. Uh, yeah, we got some fires in there. It's going. Okay, we'll get a headline. We'll start hitting it. So I watched a uh, developer video this morning about the pump update or the uh, pumping update for Into the Flames and it looks absolutely awesome. Like I'm blown away and uh, i I be honest, I'm kind of lost. I don't know anything about pumping from a fire engine so <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. This is going to be a lot of fun to figure that out. So, but yeah, if you guys haven't uh, seen that, go check it out on his uh, YouTube page. I'll put a link down below to it. All right, there we go. We're making some headway here. All 
There we go. Now we're getting it. Now we're getting it. All right. I think we're going to need our mask, though. And let's uh, crouch down. Sweet. All right. Got uh, fire on the ceiling as well. Rolling along the ceiling. Looks like I got some pallets or something stacked up back there. Maybe not. I kind of see something in the background. Yeah, it is. Got some nice material back there to feed the fire. Got some drums in here as well, too. I thought this was a house. I guess not. I think it's part of that radio tower. I think there's a radio tower outside. There we go. Now we're getting it. I think we've almost got it. We'll do a few other quick calls. We'll do uh, two or three. We'll do at least two. Not more than that. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. Now we got it. Sweet. I think we're good, right? We got to vent the room. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll go put this away and uh, actually let's just drop it. Let's drop it right here and we'll kill the mask. We don't need that. Now we need to grab our, uh, we need to grab our fan. We don't have a way to, uh, we don't have any windows or anything to vent. So we need our fan. There it is. All right. Definitely different doing it all first person. It really just is. I like, you know, I honestly, I like doing it either way. I think it kind of changes up the gameplay. You know, by doing that, it was nice to go back and forth between the two of them. All right, that should have it, right? We should have this good to go. It looked like it was cleared out. <coughs> All right, let's see. Did we miss something? Because, ah, yeah, okay, with the box. I didn't do my 360. I goofed up. Oops. We goofed up. Let's go take care of that real fast. Let's get an extinguisher. I've done that first thing. Doggone it, Spur. Mess that up. We got to do our 360 first. You got to uh, assess the scene. I was wondering why it wouldn't clear out. This aspect is really super cool, though. I wish we had this on all, like, all the structure fires. It'd be cool to have, like, uh, gas and uh, power to have to worry about. All right, interact with the breaker. I think we're good here. Man, those are nice. I never realized that. Like, you don't get to see them as good from the uh, other view. So this should be it, right? There we go. Nice under control. Oh man, we had a uh, we had a propane tank too. All right, it's not a uh, it wasn't a radio tower. It's a water tower. Water tower. Yeah. Okay. We're good here. We'll get uh, cleaned up from this scene, and um, we'll see about going to another one. All right, Tones just dropped for another structure fire. It's going to be on, uh, I think it's 12 Griffin Drive is what it was. We'll look at it here in a second. Let's get down here, hop on the engine. We'll head that way. We'll probably uh, we'll probably take a ladder, too, from somewhere. We'll bring a ladder. All right, let's go. We'll head that way. Um, I think we need to go back this way, right? I hope so. I didn't look and double check. I hope I'm going right. I kind of think I am, maybe. Okay, yeah, I see now. All right, I see. For you guys that are uh, real life firefighters, uh, drop a comment down below. How much do y'all rely on GPS now? Like, I, I would think that would be a game changer, especially for like rural fire departments and stuff like that. How important is GPS? Could you imagine like doing it without GPS? That'd be crazy. I, I think it'd probably be very difficult. Especially when you're way out in the boonies, you got a you know a fire reported way out in the boonies somewhere at some structure, and you're not quite sure where it's at. But you can always look for the smoke. I mean, the smoke's going to be your big indicator. Oh wow, man, that's going good. Uh, I hope we have a hydrant somewhere close by. Man, that is that's going really good there. What is up with that? Uh, it's going to be down and around. Yeah. 
All right, yeah, we're gonna have to. Uh, we'll just hand jack the line down there. That's an actual term, guys. For you, for those of you that aren't aware, it is an actual thing. I think it's. Uh, it, it varies. It varies from uh, between departments, but take it down there by hand. There we go, sweets. Yeah, it's going good in that house. It almost looks like a propane fire inside. It's kind of weird. All right, let's hit you. All right, we got water. We're good to go on that. Nice. Uh, we'll see about uh, bringing a ladder. We'll bring a ladder as well too. All right, let's get our uh, let's get our air pack. Your air pack. We're good with that. And we're gonna do 360. We'll do 360 this time. Yeah, that that one bit of fire right there, like uh. Like between A and D side there on the corner just looks like it's really raging in there. This is going good. Yeah, it is. Like fully involved structure fire. I don't think we've ever been to this house. This may actually be one that we haven't been to. I know we've been over here before. We've been to a few houses, but can we open this door? No, we can't. It's locked. Oh, uh, we got a power box too. Nice. All right. And it looks like, I don't know if that's like supposed to be a gas line or something going into it there, but. All right, let's go grab, uh, let's grab an extinguisher. We'll get that power taken care of real quick and then we'll bring a ladder. Start working on this. Let's see, let's do, uh, let's go to this too. Let's hit tab, go to emergencies and then take the, uh, take the call. We should have done that. Let's go tools and extinguisher. All right, let's get it real quick. Nice. All right. Let's hit it. All right, that looks good to go. I don't think we do anything with this. That almost kind of reminds me of a tankless hot water heater. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what that is supposed to represent. Maybe it could be gas. Maybe water. I don't know. We'll go with gas. All right, we jumped over to station three. We grabbed the Quint. We're going to bring him down there. Get our lights going there with L, and I think we're set. All right, let's get rolling. Not too far away. It's actually closer to three than uh, two. I didn't realize that. Or if that little house ever goes up. I've noticed that. I think that's a house that uh, if you're a volunteer, you can use that maybe. I think some of these houses you can, you know, like you can role play as a volunteer from them. Some nice houses though, those would be fun ones to fight as well. Yeah, right, get through this intersection here. And we're good, nice. Okay, yeah, we'll do uh, some ladder ops when we get down there, we'll set up, we'll go vent. Uh, we'll make entry. We'll try to search. Nice. Love this subdivision. So cool over here. I, I hope that uh, one of these days all <laughs> we're able to uh, respond to all these houses at some point. I think that would be nice. There we go. All right, let's hop out. All right, let's see. Let's get uh, let's get a Halligan. Go to tools, uh, Halligan or axe. Uh, you know, I may take an axe. We haven't taken the axe in a while. Let's take an axe. Let's just go bust some doors down. We're gonna need a, a saw. We'll have to hit that garage door with a saw. It is well involved in there. Like, I don't think there's much we're going to be able to do as far as going inside. Of course, we can't do this from first person. It's only downside. We have to do that from third, but. All right, we're good there. Yeah, there's no going in there. I wish we could get that alarm and uh, at least kill it. Go around to the back.
Yeah, there's no getting in there. Man, that's really good. Yeah, it is. What about second floor? Uh, yeah, it's, it's like fully involved. Top to bottom, front to back. All right, let's get the garage door. We'll at least get it. Yeah, let's get over here. We'll cut this garage door down. There we go. Once again, got to go back a third for this. That's all right, though. There we go. All right, sweet. Doors down. All right, got us the ladder. Let's get over here and uh, get it set up. Pretty cool perspective, I have to admit. We'll, uh, we'll see about going up on the roof, getting some venting going. We'll put another one up, maybe 14 foot in a, uh, a second floor window. All right, I'm guessing maybe right here, too close to the building. Okay, let's back off a little bit. Too close. Too close, too close. What's going on? <laughs> That's not, maybe we need to do it from this view. Yeah, okay, we couldn't do it from, uh, we couldn't do it from first. That's all right. Okay, we got that set up. Let's go get a uh, 14. We'll go to a second floor window as well. All right, noted. We have to uh, do that from third because I think that window just to the right of the front door, it looks like they don't have uh, much going on in there. Yeah, I think that's the best spot to go. All right, let's, uh, let's switch to third just real fast. And, uh, let's grab it and move it. I didn't like that. Let's try it again now. There we go. That's better. All right, let's hop back to third. We'll pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> we'll pretend that didn't happen. Sometimes you got to make do. That's all right. Not going to be a big deal. All right, let's grab, I think maybe a, uh, uh, let's do another. Yeah, let's do a Halligan. Let's do a Halligan, and uh, we're going to go knock that window out. I think we'd be able to take a peek on the uh, the second floor here. Oh, there's someone up there. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's not cool. All right, yeah. To break, we have. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're gonna get burned. Yeah, to break it out, to do all that, you need to be in third as well, too. So. All right, you know what? Let's just drop the Halligan right here. We'll drop him down there. Um, let's go up on the roof. We'll start venting. We do have a victim up there. There wasn't much of anything we could do about that, though. Like, when we got here, it was fully involved. I don't know. Like, you know, it was long gone by the time we got here. All right, this time, let's go to gear, and we'll grab a chainsaw. And I think we're going to need a hook as well, too. Let's go to tools and grab hook. There we go. All right, we're set. All right, we'll go up here. We'll get some venting started. Uh, I know the roof's already compromised down on the end. I mean, if you got flames going through it, then technically it should be compromised. But we're just we're going to go ahead and vent anyway. All right, there we go. Get some cutting going. Get some cuttage going on the roof. We'll knock this out real fast. I wonder, can we do it with the hook? We may have to do that. No, we can do it. Okay, we can do it uh, in first person with the hook, but we just can't cut. All right, there we go. I think that's good enough, maybe. I think that's good. Let's, uh, let's go back down. We'll grab a hand line. We'll start hitting it. Little, uh, there we go. Now we're <laughs> it's a little tricky getting down in first person. Thought we were gonna fall. Yeah, it's raging up there in that window since we knocked it out. All right, let's see if we can hit it through the front here now. We'll go this way. And it is raging in here big time. Like this, this place is completely gone. There we go. Now we're getting it. Yeah, it's, we're doing it. It's just slow. Like, there's so much. All 
There we go. There we go. Come on. Yeah, all right, now, okay. Yeah, I was starting to wonder for a little while there. I was like, man. I think if we can get over here by the stairs, we'll find that alarm. I think we're gonna push our way back over there. This is gonna be over here on one of these walls. Is that another person on the floor in there? It Maybe, I don't know. It could be debris. It could be trash or something. There's something over there on the floor. Yeah, I think that's debris. All right, sweet. Yeah, I'm telling you, I was getting worried for a minute there. I was like, damn, this stuff is just not going out. Like, we're not having any luck with it. And being burned, no, it gets you quick, too. Come on. Yeah, I don't see the alarm. I was thinking it was going to be over here on that wall right there. I guess not. It's still being burned. I don't know what's getting me in here. I don't understand what's uh what's hurting me. It's just radiant heat, maybe. I, I don't know if that's like replicated in the game. I don't think so, but man. Come on. Yeah, that's a door. That's interesting. That door, like it looks almost like it's been hit with a uh with an axe. I'm afraid to get too close to it. I don't want to die, and we don't have Rit, too. Actually, you know what? Uh, scratch that. <laughs> let's get out before I goof that up. I've done that way too many times. All right, let's drop you down right here, and let's go to... Uh, well, first, let's go heal up, actually. Let's go do that. Where are you at? There you go. All we got to do is just hit E. It's going to top us off. All right, let's go ahead. Let's hit tab. Let's go to emergencies and uh, let's establish command because we hadn't done that. Uh, we'll upgrade the alarm. We should have done all that as soon as we got here, but I wasn't thinking about it. Uh, working alarm. We'll exit out of you and exit out of that. All right, let's hit N key and we'll go to drone mode. Should here in just a second. There we go. Sweet. All right, we'll take a look at the overall scene. Uh, I just won't writ. Like, I won't do the rest of it myself, which is the awesome part about this uh, AI system is that uh, you can do as much of it as you want, you know, or you can let the AI, the AI do it. Uh, let's do a firefighter rescue team, and let's put them over here by the ladder. There you go. So, basically, for those of you that aren't familiar with the game, haven't played it, or just don't know, uh, these guys, you drop them down in command mode. They're going to be uh, little, kind of like little pawns that are going to just stand by there. And uh, if something happens and I die or go down inside. Wow, I didn't have an air tank this whole time. Did I not have an air tank this whole time? I thought we did. Weird. Okay, let's go back. Get our air. I can't believe we did all that inside there and didn't have an air tank. Let's double check it and make sure. Yeah, we got, I could have swore we had one. Maybe not. So anyway, the uh, RIT team. Uh, in, you know, in case something happens, if you go down or, uh, die, if you become injured and you, uh, go down in there, they will come in and rescue you. They'll pull you out and, uh, take you back to that point where they're standing at. It's kind of like a spawn point, I guess, in a way. So it's a really, really cool feature to have. Um, I have forgotten to use it, uh, a few times and it wound up biting me in the butt. And we wound up dying and we had to completely respawn, so... Yeah, I can't believe we were in here the whole time and we didn't have air on. We could go ahead and use it. We're not being really damaged by any smoke or anything in here. Probably all upstairs. Man, that fire is so persistent. It just keeps, oh yeah, I see the alarm. Nice, let's go kill it, finally. Let's go kill it. Let's see if we can work our way over there to it.
Yeah, I just I guess it does have radiant heat now. I you know I've never heard him say uh when I've talked to him, of course I've never asked him either, but I've never heard it mentioned that there's like a radiant heat effect to this. So maybe there is, because we get within a few feet of it and it starts damaging us. Like you don't actually have to touch it. So uh maybe he can uh comment. I know sometimes he comments on the videos. Uh, if he sees a question or something like that, which is really, really cool. There we go. All right, let's push our way over here. There we go. Nice. All right. We killed the alarm finally. Now we can listen to that sweet, sweet flame music, right? <laughs> oh, there is some kind of gas line in here. What is that over there? I've never, I've never seen that before. You know, when we roll up on this, uh, at some point I said it looked like there's a propane tank in here or something with that, so. That is really cool. What is that? I want to hurry up and get over there and see what that is. I wonder, is it a gas line? It looks like it might be a gas line. Come on, hurry up and go out. We got we got to go check that out over there. I want to see what that is. I don't want to get too close. We're going to get burned. What is that? It is. It's a gas line. Looks like a, uh, a gas stove over there. That could be the ignition source, right? That, that could be where all this started from. So question is, what do we do with that? Because I have never seen anything mentioned about that. I've only seen the, uh, the, the gas tanks, you know, the propane tanks outside. I've never seen anything about inside. Uh, turn off the gas. How do we turn the gas off? Uh, good question. Good question. Let's drop this down. We'll go out the back door and see. We'll kill you. I I don't know, guys. I'm at a loss. Like this has got to be the uh, where the gas comes in at. Is it right here? There it is. Sweet. Okay, security gas. Nice. All right. Noted. I, I just thought that was some kind of little detail on the wall. I didn't even know. So we did our 360. We should have hit that too right off the bat. See what it looks like in here now. See if we got that room. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. We got it. Nice. All right. Let's get this door out here. That is so cool. We got gas lines now too. That that's really cool. I like uh, rolling up on a scene and like having uh, multiple things to think about like that. Gas and power. I don't know what kind of little room this is here. I don't see anything in there. It looks like it's empty. Uh, no, it's a bathroom. Man, that's a... Oh, 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 smoke. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, it's a big, huge bathroom. Or uh, what I like to call the uh, TikTok viewing room, right? <laughs> it's a TikTok viewing room. Seems like that's the thing to do now. There we go. We'll finish up downstairs and then we'll make our way up. We've still got more. Man, there's a lot of fire in this place. I almost kind of think we should have brought out the uh, AI dudes. Let them help a little bit. That's all right. Sometimes it's cool just to do it on your own. What, what is this going on in here? I can't tell. Like maybe trash. Everyone seems to be liking the first person stuff here lately. I know it's kind of different. I, I don't do it a lot. There's no real particular reason. Just a lot of times I just don't think to do it. And 
we're going to need another air tank. That's how you gauge your fires in this game is by how many air tanks you use. Like, because it takes you a hot minute to run out. Like, they last a while. Go there. Okay, got a step ladder in the corner there. Really hoping to get this out before we start working on a new tank. Come on. We just got a little bit left. Come on. You can last. Like, <laughs> low air. We better go. We better bail. Let's go quick. I get air going back again. And. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the pumping update. That That's going to be cool. I'm, I'm kind of worried because I don't know anything about it. Like, I have zero knowledge about that stuff. I think he said uh, in the video he's, he's going to have guides or some kind of help or something to uh, let you know what to do. But, yeah, I have zero knowledge about that stuff. So, it's going to be interesting to, uh, to tackle that. Yeah, they got all kind of stuff in here. What we need in here is some of those uh, little like barbecue propane tanks. I think that'd be cool to have like some of those in the garage or something. Have to take care of them. Or uh, gas cans, you know, all that kind of nasty flammable stuff that people keep in their garages. All right, come on. We're so close. We're so close to being done downstairs. Just a little bit more. There we go. Grab this over here. Nice. All right, we got it. Sweet. Let's uh, let's make our attack upstairs. We'll see about that person too. Now, I'm wondering, since we have a person up there, can we bring the ambulance and like treat them? Uh, I don't know gonna be a good question we'll have to try it out and see it's not it doesn't look quite as involved up here as it was uh, downstairs which is good we may need that halligan yep yeah, we're gonna need a halligan we'll pass that that one for a second we'll pass that one up uh, bathrooms good Come on. I bet this one's locked too. I bet it is. We should have just brought it with us. You can carry multiple tools. Door is blocked. All right. So that means we're going to need a hook. We're going to need a hook and uh halligan. Go down to this other end of the hall here. We'll get it knocked down real fast. And what is this door? Uh, that one's uh, blocked as well. Okay. Yeah, let's drop this right here. And let's go grab a hook and a halligan. All right, let's pick you up. And we'll go back to the Quint get her hook. There's our Rit dudes hanging out. They own Yard Air. <laughs> I've heard that's not good. Let's see. Let's get, uh, let's get her hook. Oh, it caught back up down here. Wow, okay. Yeah, is it spreading? Like, what's going on with that? I don't know. Let's get back upstairs. We'll get... All right, well, we got our Halligan. Yeah, all right. Let's uh, force the door. Uh, door is blocked. Okay. Let's switch to the hook. We may actually need a... Uh, or we're going to need an axe, probably to uh, bust the door down and then use the hook to pull the stuff out of the way. There we go. We can force this one at least. All right, let's go back to first. Yeah, it seems like most all the uh, door animations are going to um, put you in third. All right, here's our victim. Uh, let's get him out of here. Uh, let's carry him. Yeah, we can assess them. All right, let's get them out of here. We'll take them downstairs. All right, I think we'll just get them in the driveway here. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll bring an ambulance in a minute. We'll see if we can treat this guy. What we can do for him? 
Let's kill that so we won't waste our air. Um, I gotta remember how we drop them. There we go. All right. Let's see. Interact. Uh, yeah, we can't do anything with them right yet until we uh, have a medical bag. We could probably get a medical bag off the um, off the engine or the Quint and treat him. All right, let's get our air going again. All right, so we've got him taken care of. Grab our line here. Uh, what is? I think this one was blocked too. Yeah. Shoot, we should have got an axe while we were down there so we could have just chopped those down. All right, we'll do that. Let's uh, let's hit this right here real fast. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the hand line, we're going to put it away and then pull it back out because sometimes uh, you get like so much of it stretched out and it'll just disappear. It'll say max. Uh, max length reach or something like that something to that effect so when it starts looking like I'm getting a whole bunch pulled out on the ground I usually like to come over here and um, put it away and then pull it back out all right let's put you down there and let's uh, we'll put our halligan away and we'll grab an axe oh we have no tools that's weird they all disappeared Okay, let's get an axe and let's get a hook. All right, we got an axe, we got a hook, and let's get our hand line here. All right, we should be set. That's weird, that stuff disappeared. I had it on me and then now it's gone. All right, here we go. Let, uh oh, there's another person in here. I didn't know that, but yeah, I see him peeking. He's peeking at us over there. You guys see him? <laughs> He's peeking through the wall. Uh, I could have swore I had a hook. Did I not? Like, I don't, this is being weird for some reason. I don't know why. All right, either way, let's, let's uh, just bust it down. We'll see about it in a minute here. Um, it's not blocked. That's weird. It's not, it wasn't, I could have swore that door said it was blocked. All right, let's go down here. We'll hit this other one. Okay, yeah, this is the one that's blocked. It looks like it may be up in the attic. I don't know if this has a, uh, a ceiling we can pull or not. We'll have to we'll have to try that out. All right, let's grab this guy real fast. Yeah, it's all. All right, let's carry him. There we go. All right, let's drop him on the ground too. There we go. All right, we need a hook. We need to get that hook. I could have swore we picked up a hook. Let's go tools and hook. There we go. Maybe I didn't click it good. Nice part is we are all topped off on everything else, so we're good to go. So now we can clear that door on the other end if we need to pull the ceiling, if we even can, we can do that and uh, we'll be set. We'll have everything we need. Luckily, these ceiling fires go out really easy, so all, all you gotta do is just like hit it just real quick. Well, I say that. There we go. Alright, sweet. We're good with this room. We're not gonna start venting yet. We'll wait a minute. Alright, that room's good. That one's clear. Uh, this one has the, okay, I see attack line is actually considered a tool as well too. So that's how we're losing our, uh, our hook. Well, damn, if I'd known that, I would have dropped the hook before we picked up the attack line. Come on. I know you want to go out. You're, you're super close. Oh, there's nice, uh. Nice acoustic over there. Alright, so unless we can pull this ceiling, we should be good to go. I'm going to run downstairs. We'll grab another hook. We'll try to pull the ceiling. 
Those dudes can wait. They're not going anywhere. All right, let's do uh, tools. Hook. Okay, that's exactly what happened. I had the hook to begin with. I went up there. I picked up the attack line and made the hook go away. All right. I'm not 100% certain we can pull anything. We'll try it and see, but there we go. All right, we got that cleared out. Can we pull it? Some of them you can, some you can't. Let's see. Let's try it. This. Yeah, it doesn't look like his thing. Okay, that's fine. All right, we got to drop something. Let's drop our axe right here. Yes, vent room. We're working on it. We're working on it. There we go. Sweet. We'll just bust these out. We'll hydraulically vent. We'll do some hydraulic ventilation here. There we go. This guy gets you... I think that's good enough. We don't have to <laughs> we don't have to go crazy on all their windows. Who we got down here? Uh, I know we got some down here we need to hit. Yeah, we'll get this in the kitchen. There right, we got those. Uh living room, we'll hit these. And what else we got? We got these right here, we'll hit those. We should be good, guys. Like, I keep seeing smoke right here, though. I don't know where that's coming from. I was like, there's a fire node or something in here, maybe. I don't know. There's something over here that's still going. You know what? We're going to do fog. I know you don't do fog inside, but we're going to do this anyway just to see if we can hit something. Doesn't want to do it. Maybe we need the fan. Or does this place have a basement? I mean, I don't think so. I don't remember seeing anything outside. Yeah, no, it doesn't have a basement. Maybe we just need to put the fan. You know what, we'll set the fan up, we'll see if that clears it out, and then uh, we'll start treating these guys. See if we can get a medical bag. Tools, uh, where are you at? Fan, there we go. They're twinsies. <laughs> nice, they're twins. Nice, dressed exactly the same. Yeah, it's just heavy smoke on that end of the house down there. I don't know what's up with that. Put you right here so we can do. All right, let's go grab a medical bag. We'll try these. No, 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 no. We don't need to go up the ladder. Yeah, there we go. All right, it's under control. I am afraid they are going to lock our axe up in there in a second. We'll see. All right, gear, medical bag. Nice, nice. Okay, so we should technically be able to treat these guys now. I'll try it and see. All right, with victim uh, assess the patient. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, she uh, she turned into something else and she disappeared. Let's try this guy assess the patient. Yeah, this may not be working for these guys. I know. I think he had mentioned to me that uh, it wasn't fully implemented for like some of the victims. It doesn't, it doesn't seem to be. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe, ring that bell. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the new uh, Pumper Update video on Fully Involved Game Studios' uh, YouTube page. Like I said, I'll leave a link below. Uh, either in the, probably in the comments, actually. I think in the comments, it's a little easier to find. So uh, definitely go check that out. It looks absolutely awesome. Thank you guys for all the love and support. I really do appreciate it. And with all that said, we'll catch you in Canton County next time. Peace.